Hello and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the functions under the pivot options. So the file that we are working on is called your pivot values. I request you to download the file. So the pivot values, what it does is based on the type of data, we can go about changing the way your data is summarized and we'll look at that. So I'm working on the pivot value of file and we are in sheet uh, in sheet two, that is your employee data. And what we're going to do here is we'll go about creating a pivot and then look at how we use the value options. So for this example, we'll talk about the yearly salary of employees and how we can actually go about working on those. And here, we'll see based on the departments. So I select the data. On the data, go to your insert tab, create a pivot table. And we want our data on the existing worksheet where we have all the pivots. I select the existing worksheet, the tab there. Select a cell and OK. And here we have the pivot table fields as well. So what we're going to do, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about the department here. And we have the yearly salary. We'll drag the yearly salary here. And here you would notice that the salaries of the employees are there. We'll go to your data tab and just sort it in a descending order. And here what you will see is by default, it looks like the technical people are getting paid the highest than the research and quality group, your finance group. But one thing that we need to be mindful here is this by default is a sum option. And you can see here, it says sum of yearly salary. One thing for us to, to remember is your sum would change based on the number of people. For example, there is a department that's getting a salary of 5 lakhs. There are two employees getting a salary of 5 lakhs. So a total of that would be 10 lakhs. Another department, we can say the HR department as an example. We have 10 employees getting a salary of 3 lakhs each. So the sum total of that would be 3 lakhs into 10 would be around 30 lakhs. And when we see the data together, it would seem like the HR people are getting a higher salary. But in reality, HRs are, are actually getting much lesser. So in those examples, what we need to do is we need to take the average of the salaries. And how do we go about doing that? Under the value options, you can see the sum of yearly salary. You right click on that and at the bottom, you will find your field settings. On the field settings, when you click on that, a new window opens and here you can see sum of yearly salary and that's the value that you can see on the top of your pivot as well. But what I want here is I want the average. And as soon as you click on the average, you see your, the field name also changes to average. And if you click on OK here, you would notice that the administrative people are still getting paid the highest. And your custom enhancement, which was in, uh, uh, in the second, is now on the uh, thing. Now seems to be a much more lower. So we'll just sort the data here again. there is a lot of decimal points we'll first remove that we'll go to the home tab general we'll go to your numbers right so we have here yeah. so now you see your administrative is still on the top then you have your custom enhancement likewise your data changes now when you see the average it actually tells you what are employees on that department getting your salaries but remember your data could change because uh, based on your higher limits and your lower limits. For example, in the administrative department, 
there could be a person getting a high amount and there could be another person getting a lower amount. Because of that as well, your average changes. So we need to be very mindful when we actually use the value options. Likewise, what we can also do is select your data of the average, go to field settings and say, I want to understand what is the maximum salary and click on OK. And you can see what's the maximum salary in the departments. Likewise, we can also go field settings and I want to understand how many employees are there. So your count numbers, click on OK. So you see technical, they have around 261 employees. Your research group has around 113 and your administrative has just seven. So in this way, in the pivot value options, there's a lot of things that we can play and get a lot more insights on the data. And what I would suggest is when you are playing with your pivot tables, try and create multiple pivots and then play with your data. So here what we have done is we have got the count. Likewise, we'll go back to the employee data. Go to your insert again, create a pivot. Existing worksheet, click on OK. Sorry, we need to select the table range. Where do we want it? I want in sheet one. And I'll just place it beside it, the data. Okay. Now we know the count of employees. What we'll do is, based on your department, we have the department and we'll see your salary again, the yearly salary. Now you see a sum. Again, we will sort your data out here. We'll just sort it based on the numbers, the names. So we have the similar names. So here you can see technical people, there are 261 employees, and the total salary is 2396319. 986.7. Likewise, you can see your data below as well. So when you use the multiple functions in the pivot, the value functions, we can get a lot of insights on the data. So we can clearly understand the number is showing high here because of the number of employees. Likewise, we'll create another pivot once again, just to get some more insights. Employee data, insert your pivot table, existing worksheet, Sheet 4, we'll have our pivot here. Okay. And now what do we want here? We want the department once again. The department will sort it based on the name so that we have the headings in the same, in the same line and we will take the monthly salary and here in place of a sum right click go to your field settings we'll take an average salary okay we'll reduce the decimal points once again go to your home tab general to your number it just gives you two decimal points Let's change this to a number as well. And here you see, we have the technical team. There are 261 uh, employees. We reduce the decimal points to zero. Okay, the number of employees is 261. The sum of salary is 2396319861. And your technical team has an average salary of 76510. So here you can see with the help of a pivot, okay, and using the value options, there's a lot more insights that we can get on the data. So do spend some time, you use the various other functions, you can use the department, you can use the state, you can use the sub department, the zone that they belong to, a lot of those options and how we can actually use the pivot table options there. So do spend some time using those. I will catch you in the next class. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.